Today's topic of discussion is head movement. I've seen quite a few videos on here discuss the draw stroke, but very few if any really discuss head and eye movement during the draw, which is extremely vital for speed and accuracy. We're going to go over the ideal draw and two other commonly seen improper draw strokes. By the end, you should have a decent understanding of why head and eye movements are detrimental to building your speed and accuracy. The white line protruding from my eye socket will track my head and eye movement as I begin and complete the draw stroke. The blue line is a marker as to where my head and eye were the moment before I began the draw, my point of origin. First is the ideal draw stroke. In a perfect world, you do not want to move your head or eyes at all. This helps minimize excessive movements and overcorrections, which you will have when you're in a pucker factor situation. The best way to do this is to start from the position you are going to fire your weapon in and do not move your head or eyes as you go for your weapon. As you can see, I still have head and eye movement, but it is fairly slight, but there's always room for improvement. Now for the improper draw. Now one of the most common improper draws is the lean and draw. It is essentially a horizontal movement from the hip and a simultaneous grab of the firearm. As you can see, the white line has to travel a great distance laterally, and while I do end up fairly close to my original position, a lot of that is due to one, my muscle memory, and two, luck. This is inefficient due to the amount of time and energy it takes to obtain your firearm and the amount of information your eyes have to process. Some people find that they can obtain their firearm quicker this way, but I see many people who engage in this movement unnecessarily so. Even from concealment, this is usually an unnecessary action for most persons. Now, the forward lean is something of an exaggerated isosceles stance. The problem is not the stance. The problem is that many people begin this action by standing completely upright and then go for the gun and then lean forward. Head movement, while trying to track your sights as you bring them up into your field of view, slows you down. I have no qualms about those who practice from this relaxed upright position for tactical purposes, but to constantly utilize this as your default stance is bad form, and you really are not pushing yourself to your fullest capabilities. Now to compare all three draw strokes, you will see that the distance traveled or deviation from my original head eye position is greater than the ideal draw stroke, thus slower in regards to tracking my sights, gaining true sight alignment, and front sight focus. Now that you have seen this with your own eyes, perhaps you'll be a little more aware of your own head eye movement when obtaining your fire up from your holster. As always, I hope this has been worth your time. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take care. Stay safe.